वेलकम माई फ्रेंड्स ऑफ यू ऑल आर वेल इट इज आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम आई वॉज बिजी इन ए वर्क सो सो टूडेज वीडियो विल बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड स्टेट यूड ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट सो टूडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्यू आर बार क्यू आर क्यू आर कोड एंड बार कोड स्कैनर यूजिंग की भी की भी एम डी एंड पाइथन सो हेयर इट इज दिस इज माई प्रोजेक्ट फोल्डर एंड दिस इज द सम पाइथन फाइल्स एंड एंड फोल्डर्स ओके सो आई विल डिस्कस ऑल अबाउट दिस ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वन सेकेंड so i'm just opening with this uh, using sublime text and uh, yeah that's it and this is the uh, this is the kv file okay one second so <coughs> this is this is the main, main python code main dot py and uh, okay so so this is the main dot py code and this is uh, qr scan dot kv code okay now <coughs> so first of all we have to understand uh, here we are taking that uh, p- p- picture from camera uh, of qr or barcode and it will analyze and it will find uh, information or or uh, information about um, barcode okay so for that i i am using uh, here a library called py by z bar okay so one second so now uh, here i am just uh, using <coughs> py z bar and from that uh, i have just called decode method okay and here Uh, i have used camera for kv okay this is very important uh, library so you can find from github page i will put link in the description okay don't worry one second let's reduce some brightness okay now <coughs> this is the uh, camera for kv this is platform independent camera and it is kv widget okay so Uh, you can read the code from here you can read code from here all the code and and uh, basic usage of this uh, preview widget okay so <coughs> you can uh, in kv file you just have to uh, write like this and um, you can uh you can connect camera and you can disconnect camera capture photo okay you can read the documentation from here okay so this is kv widget the kv camera widget okay and it is platform independent it will work on uh, uh, linux windows and uh, uh, mac i think so one second yeah Okay, Mac, Linux, Android, and iOS. Okay, so this is I am just uh, I am very interested uh, to work on Android. Okay, so I will show you how it is working on Android, and it is uh, taking <coughs> barcode or uh, QR code, and it will analyze. Uh, okay, so here uh, this app will work in. uh in uh, all the system uh, like uh, uh, windows linux uh, android mac os okay so i am using here linux operating system and uh, i will uh, i will test uh, i will uh, write uh, code for um, uh, uh, for to run on android okay so basically i am just i am just building a android app uh qr or barcode scanner and uh, so here it is like uh, here it is uh, i have just imported some kv libraries 
key vi key vi classes like object property main thread platform and you can you can read uh, key vi properties from uh, from a uh, key vi just open key vi dot org dot o r g and you can read from here okay you can read documentation from what is kv uh, properties and object properties or you can watch uh, my videos youtube videos so i have discussed about that and it is clock and i have called just main thread and it is uh, platform uh, sorry kv.utils import platform now here it is i am building kvmd app so that's why i have just used uh, i have just called uh, md app okay and i have uh, used uh, md screen and here camera for kv and import preview okay i already have discussed that it is preview and uh, preview kv widget so and here i'm just using image processing library called pilo and from pilo import image okay it is pilo library and from pil import image and it is the imp important library called pyzbar dot pyzbar import decode decode so you can read pyzbar just type pyzbar p y z b a and you can read the documentation it will <coughs> how it it is uh, it will work and you can just put an image a pillow image within it it will decode all the uh, it will extract uh, the information from that uh, image of qr or barcode okay <coughs> sorry now it is it is like uh, this is the class and this is scan screen class and i have just uh, used md screen uh, for inheritance and here one second <coughs> is the md md it is qr scan uh, just uh, Uh, using i have just created this class by using this md app okay and build this is build method and i have just here uh, put a uh, i have just here to check it is android or not because uh, for android we need permission for camera and audio record so that's why i have just written here at this platform platform object i have uh, platform object i got from <coughs> this kv utils import platform okay and it is written in uh, scan screen okay and and what is scan screen this is the scan screen okay and obviously we have uh, defined this all this uh, uh sorry we defined uh, this scan screen here you can see here it is very uh, i have used here box layout and after that i have used scan analyzed and md level okay so this scan analyze class i have i have defined here here okay and i have just set id equal to preview and aspect ratio equal to 16.9 because as i i am using the preview class to make this class due to inheritance i can uh, access all the attributes and methods of preview okay this is the beauty of the object oriented programming okay and <coughs> here uh, here it is that uh, extracted data equal to object property equal to non so what is object property and uh, and key properties so it is very important when you deal with kv or kvmd apps okay so if you don't know and uh, if you don't know what is object property and uh, if you want to know about that so i you can uh, watch i already have uploaded uh, video related uh, kv properties you can watch that video okay so it will uh, you, you can get some idea about that okay and <laughs> here it is the analyze pixel callback this is the callback defined in preview preview class it is it is like um, 
it is like um, uh, event so it will call after uh, 30 um, frame per second so, sorry 30 times uh, in one second okay and it will it uh, which will give some uh, values like pixels image size image position scale mirror okay and here in this callback it will call again and again and again and again while running your app okay so <coughs> okay so this callback in this callback or sorry in this function i have just uh, defined image dot from bytes okay I have just used this image and from the from bytes mode RGBA and size equal to image size and data equal to pixels. So I am just putting the data uh, pixels data to this with this in this data ok. So it will convert this pixels image to pillow image ok. One second. So okay so after that uh, this pillow image we can we can decode by using this pi z bar okay and uh, decoded information uh, we can uh, oh this line is not needed okay one second yeah so from the if the list of all barcodes it will get all barcodes or qr codes from this image okay it will extract and if this is this list is not empty then uh, then and if self extracted data e equal to uh, something uh, uh, not known means that it exists if this object is exist then it will call self dot extracted data okay so you have to just understand this line okay and this self dot uh, self ex, uh, sorry self dot extracted dash data and i am passing the information of decoded uh, decoded uh, <coughs> data <coughs> okay and i am just passing the first term uh, else uh, print not from like okay and this is and this is this means that this should be an uh, this uh, object should be and method okay method so here and here it is okay now now here I am just scan analyze here that extracted data I'm just passing root dot root dot got result okay I am passing extracted data equal to root dot got dash result okay. here I am just setting this value okay now and root means this is the scan screen is the root because uh, because the left uh, left most widget is uh, left most thing is that root and and right most thing is self okay this is this is key a convention so you have to just remember these things and root dot got result i am passing this object this is the method you can see here and i am running this main thread in main thread means um, means uh, app thread okay means uh, ui thread kv ui thread okay uh, so this is this will uh, it will not run in ui thread it is another thread okay uh, so if we use this thread to set the text of the level so it will not work properly because it will another thread and uh, to work on um, to to set or to um, deal with kiwi widgets you have to just run all these widgets thing in main thread or ui thread okay so here and uh, this is the md level here i have just set it i uh, set uh, id equal to ti and i am just here setting this self dot id ti dot text equal to extra result so i'm passing the result i'm passing the result from here 
you can replace this thing like you can you can think like um, I'm just calling got result uh, got result like this okay so this is the <coughs> as uh, Python is object oriented program language and in Python everything is object so this is the beauty of the object oriented programming language okay so the extracted data here this is like variable so I am passing the method the object got result here it is like variable but it is it is here it is uh, because uh, in Python all are objects so we can do like this okay so now uh, it is the basic app so <coughs> this is basic app so now uh, here to uh, if you if you if you are working for um, if you are uh, if you are uh, want if you want to uh, uh, build for uh, Linux or Windows then it is enough but for Android especially for Android and you have to think you, you have to consider more thing more more things okay like here this is the camera x provider this file you uh, this folder you, you have to need and this file you need it okay this java files you are you need it so i will i will put the uh, file link in the description okay don't worry and copy paste this uh, this uh, folder in your project folder and this is the builddozer dot spec file okay so you can you can uh, you can uh, build this uh, builddozer dot specs file by using builddozer in it and then you can edit okay i already have this file that's why it is showing this error okay now yeah so here <coughs> So here uh, the title is QR and package name you can set uh, by uh, your um, you can set by using uh, here okay and um, package domain name and uh, source uh, files and just pipe uh, dot py dot png jpg kb okay this um, files uh, I am just including here okay and then this uh, requirements okay you have to set python 3 kv camera for kv gesture for kv hmm, gestures for kv pillow and this is the this is master version of kvmd okay and setup tools this is setup tools libicon lib z bar pi z bar pi genius and android okay so i have to just put requirement here and you can set orientation uh, and here full screen so and uh, maximum api version i am just setting equal to 32 okay and you have to just set here in android ndk version 23b okay and uh, here just and i'm building for uh, arm 64 v8 means 64 bit android okay and and here here is more important thing python 4a dot hook equal to camera x dash provider slash cradle dash option dot pi so you, you have to just hook this gradle this dash option dot pi with this build user file okay so these things uh, are very important and uh, i will i will put the all these things in uh, in github so don't worry okay so and after that one thing you have to do you have to open terminal here 
and you have to just first of all you have to upgrade your bulldozer p3 install up g r a d bulldozer okay it will upgrade upgrade your build bulldozer okay okay it is uh, like it is uh, bulldozer oh 1.4.0 newest version of bulldozer okay then you have to do check the java version java version p r s i o n so here it is 11.0.15 okay so we need open jdk is uh, open jdk 11 for this to convert uh, this file into an apk okay and uh, okay so um, so okay so if you don't have to if you don't have uh, java 11 so you have to just install install in your linux just type sudo sudo apt get install open jdk 11 this jdk sorry jdk okay. and password yeah i i already have uploaded uh, sorry i already have downloaded that or installed that so that's why it is showing already uh, open jdk open jdk 11 is already the newest version okay now you have to switch you have to switch uh, the uh, <coughs> you have to switch uh, the java version uh, to uh, open jdk 11 okay sudo update L -tar -t -i -v -s. config java okay see here my uh, my uh, open jdk is java 11 i already have set it set here okay so if you if your java version is not 11 then you can choose uh, index from here to set java 11 okay so i have to just uh, press 1 to choose java 11 okay now here okay so it is now completely um, done okay now so these things are required this java 11 is required to build this android uh, app uh, for newest version of bulldozer okay this bulldozer needed these things otherwise bulldozer will uh, will crash will uh, will uh, will crash or will show some errors okay because i already have faced these issues and solved these issues so that's why i i am just telling you okay now clear then you have to just enter bulldozer bulldozer dash v android debug deploy run okay okay so and then enter and before that you have to just connect uh, mobile to pc 
via USB cable and and uh, just enter okay sorry I mean camera X desk provider uh, folder okay that's why it is showing this error and now just run so first time it will take some uh, f first uh, first time it will take uh, some time to build this thing it will download obviously it will download the latest NDK uh, sorry uh, NDK 23B and it will take some time just to wait and after the long time uh, uh, because I already have done done once so that that's why this build is not going because it is already built okay first build uh, takes some time now I will show you how it is working in my PC okay so let's open QR code in Wikipedia So now, so I'm now pausing this video because it will take some time. Okay. So here, uh, my here my build process is completely done, and here you can see I've installed this app in uh, in my phone, and it is uh, here. It is the one a QR code example, and now. I'm just launching the app in my Android device okay and it is taking permission from here audio permission and device so it is just taking and you can see here it is detected uh, when this is the barcode and the information of the barcode or data from the barcode is that this is the link of the barcode and it is type is QR code and rect this is the rectangle size and the positions or polygons these points means these points okay so this is the thing and so this is the small demonstration uh, it is working when I am just moving the this value is changing okay now so this th that's it and okay so this is the small demonstration uh, that uh, one barcode or QR code scanner in KV uh, which is running in Android okay so and this is the uh, this is the code okay so here uh, you have to just read camera for KV and I will I will discuss about this camera for KV in uh, upcoming videos okay so uh, that's all that's all for today like share my videos uh, if you uh, enjoyed uh, these videos then then obviously like and share and 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 comment below if you have some problem okay this is the small app which is working hmm. so that's all for today. So see you in next video.